trusty steed. Just uh, getting ready to go. We're going to meet the boys at the usual rendezvous point. I'll see you later. So we're just arriving at the rendezvous point. Usual place. Washington. BP David. We got beaten the boys. I'm not here yet. Time for a quick fill up. for the boys to arrive. I think I've got here a little bit early actually. So um, here we are at the usual rendezvous point. We'll be meeting here when we go to Scotland in a few weeks time. Uh, can't wait for that. It's a gorgeous day so far this morning but the forecast is uh, it's pretty bad really for later on. It's going to get rainy about two or three. Can't beat being out on your bike when it's like this. For now, the sun is out. The sky is blue. There's a little bit of cloud to spoil the view. But it's fantastic. Just a good uh, experience to have a little bit of a Scotland uh, pre-tour tour. So we're on our way up to Ingleton, I think. And Chris has shot, he's gone. We've just been talking with uh, Arthur, he's the new guy joining us for the Scotland tour and uh, he's a seasoned biker as Arthur, he's got a lovely phaser which he's uh, had done a few little modifications to, lots of different things on it and just looking at it, it's the exact same model as my old phaser and uh, oh, I really miss my old phaser really miss it cracking by that you know when you get a new bike and uh, sometimes you just think I'd like to keep my old one well that was a bit like that really I didn't really want to get rid of my phaser but needs must part X and all that but if I could have had one I'd have had that as well But yeah, he's um, just been showing us he's got a little bit of kit there, which is like an intercom. Now, I've looked at bike intercoms before, and they are fantastic. Quite expensive for what you get, really. Um, you're looking at, uh, you know, quite a lot of money for a, a bit of kit that enables you to communicate with the other riders in the group. But what he's got is a little system, which is fantastic. It's just basically a little two-way radio um, which 
it's a little bit extra on it. I don't quite understand. I'll have to find out what that is. But it's a two-way radio, essentially, which with a, an adapter on that you can put in um, a mic piece and also like a little switch which you have to press on your thumb by your handlebar to activate. And, uh, and that little switch thing, you just press that and then you can, you can speak over the radio. So we're just thinking about getting some for the uh, Scotland tour. 40 quid for the whole thing. And that's for two radios and, uh, and the headset. So it's 20 pound a piece. If we're, going, if we're going to go halves on them. So we're just thinking about whether or not to go for it. I wonder whether it might be a good thing. Sitting in my box, working from nine to five. Filing the data of somebody else's life. Made a few changes, don't you think it's ironic? Who's going to catch me? I'm going supersonic. 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 I'm going supersonic. 